So, this is my favorite scene in the Gears episode 19. I mean, my favorite color grading result. Of course, it was produced by DaVinci Resolve, which I'm using. But I think most of people are using Premiere Pro, or most of them start color grading in Premiere Pro. So, question is, is it possible to produce high quality film color grading in Premiere Pro? Well, I have no idea because I've never done it before. How's it going people? Welcome back to another new video and thank you for tuning in again. So like I said, I've never done a proper color grading in Premiere Pro. So I'm kind of curious about how I react and how I do to produce same color grading quality as I do in DaVinci Resolve. Ah, uh, don't know what's going to happen, but let's get started. Okay, welcome back to my Premiere Pro workspace so it doesn't matter if it's davinci premiere final cut what i do is basically same okay so this is premiere pro so first thing i do is apply the adjustment layer over this clip just like this oh by the way this is uh, original footage it's s logo 2 you know it's been so wild to color grade in premiere pro so maybe i forgot something but I'm gonna do it anyway. So in DaVinci Resolve, I color graded by making layers, bunch of layers. So I'm gonna do it in the same way. So first, I'm going to add first lumetri color. So this one will be my contrast. In this lumetri, I only play with contrast and exposure. Okay, so first, this image looks kind of overexposed. So I'm going to lower the exposure just like this not too much so usually in davinci i'm using this you know, easy normal contrast but i don't know how it works in premiere but uh i guess this is not enough so in this case i think i'm going to have to use curve to make s curve so making three points shadow mid-tone and highlights and first start off with shadow bring this down all the way but not too much because I don't want to lose detail and shadow. So just right amount of shadow. Just like this. And bring the mid-tone down. Okay, this looks good. But instead of it, I'm going to boost this highlight. Just a little bit. To make a contrast. So usually at this point, I'm using log shadow to get more stronger black in this image. Well, it's a little bit flat right now. So maybe this one, color wheels and match. Okay, open it. Shadow, mid-tone, highlight. I don't know if it's primaries or log, but it's shadow, mid-tone, highlight. So I think those are log wheels. I don't know. But anyway, okay, I'm going to play with this shadow. Let's just bring this down. See, now we're getting the strong black in image. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here, right before those lights touch to zero. Yeah, I think it's contrasty enough. Okay, let's turn off on good. So what I'm gonna do from now is find adjustment using those basic corrections. Okay, first highlights, cause you know, the light's harsh. Okay, bring this down. At this point, I ignore the skin tone. You know, I'm looking at this whole image. I'm not focusing on just one thing. I have to be equal to them. Okay, I want a little bit more details in shadow. So I'm going to bring this up just tiny, a little bit. Good, and gain contrast a little bit more. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. Okay, before, after, before after looks pretty good okay next moving to saturation again i'm going to add another limitary color right here and this one will be the saturation and a little bit of color grading okay so i think this one will be easy so first gain saturation just turn this up just like this so this time i want some orange and yellow and highlights and mid tone is Maybe green, blue, and shadow is also green, blue. I want to express the moaning by this image, so I'm going to go with those colors. First, using temperature, right here, temperature. I'm going to shift this toward orange, just like this, and shift this tint to green. Good. And I'm going to add some creative look by using this color wheels. Okay, so I think I'm going to start off with highlights. So shift this toward red, magenta side. I can watch carefully around those highlight area see now we're getting some sunlight and a mid-tone shift this toward blue green side 
good. And shadow, also green side. But now I think it's very cinematic. Look at those shadow areas and this highlight area. The colors look very 3D at this point. Very good. But the skin looks so weird. Don't worry, I'm gonna fix this later. Okay, so one thing I don't like about this image is those yellows, some plastic water tank, I guess. It's too much. I don't like this yellow. So I'm gonna play with this hue versus saturation. So I'm gonna make a point around the yellow and bring this down just a little bit. And hue versus luma, bring this down. Okay, now it's less annoying. I like it. Okay, so far we did contrast and saturation and creative film look, but look at my face. I mean, it's too weird. It looks green, I don't know, pale. Anyway, it doesn't look healthy. So I'm gonna show you guys how to fix this weird, pale, not healthy skin tone in Premiere Pro as much as possible. So again, I'm going to add another lumetri color right here. So I'm gonna select only skin tone and edit it. The HSL secondary, this one. So probably I should use this set color, this tool, this one. And I guess I'm going to select my forehead. This will work. And mask. So this is a luminance, luma saturation and the hue so we're gonna play around with those three so just like this moving those around to select what i want so basically those gray area is what you don't select so i'm trying to fill those stuff i don't need with this gray except my face and hand and a little bit of my legs and Two fingers okay this is harder than i expected it's not working as i wish okay i think this is what i can do about this hsl secondary so i'm going to blur this out just like this you know blend those together and mask off so right now whatever you do applies only to skin tone i mean the place where i selected okay so from now i'm going to use those wheels shadow mid and highlights and fix my skin tone to healthy human red kind of yellow a little bit of magenta very good skin tone all right okay i'm using only mid tones and highlights so start off with highlights okay shift this to magenta side a little bit see it's already looking good before after before after and mid tone to orange how does it look look at this look at this before it's so green i mean it's like a zombie face skin tone but after it's human the proper human very good okay i'm gonna stop right here I don't want to mess around with this. So next, I'm going to give it some dramatic feel by using vignette. So again, add another lumetri color right here and using this rectangle mask and shape it like this. So the actual sunlight is coming from this direction to you know this direction, right to left. So I'm going to make this area and this area dark and emphasize this sunlight by using this mask just like this and invert. So now whatever you do applies only this area and this area which you didn't select and feather this out. And going to curve and make a point at the middle and bring this down. So right now, those areas which I didn't select are getting darker and darker. And this image is getting mood before, after, before, after. Okay, so last thing I'm going to do is a gang mask. But this is for only my face. So add another lumetri color. So this one will be a spot. Okay, this is pretty easy. Again, select this rectangle mask, but this time cover my face with this mask. Good, and feather this out again. Okay, and go to curve, make a point at the middle and bring this up. So now my face is getting extra light. It looks more juicy. Very good. Okay, let's turn off, on, 
off on. Okay, this is it. So I'm gonna turn off all of this and let's see what we did. Okay, first we did a contrast by using curve and basic corrections. And next, saturation using just normal easy saturation and color wheels. And next, we fixed skin tone by using HSL secondary. And after that, we added vignette to emphasize this sunlight. And at the last, we gave my face extra light by using this mask again like this and it's all done okay that's it well it was kind of difficult i mean of course i couldn't produce the same quality as i do in davinci resolve but it's not that premium is bad it's just that uh, i'm not used to it but i knew what to start and what i had to do because i have my own color grading rule and it's universal among any post-production software it doesn't matter if it's premium pro or final cut pro or davinci resolve basically what i do was same but how i do was not same Especially the qualifier, the HSL secondary in the Premiere Pro, that was kind of a tricky thing to do. Like I know what I have to do, but I don't know, you know, how it works. But as a result, I was able to color grade in Premiere Pro. I guess I'm not satisfied. What do you guys think? But anyway, still, I'm gonna stick with Da Vinci. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions, thoughts, comments, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And I have a question for you. Are you with Da Vinci Resolve or Premiere Pro? comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it and thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, show me your thumb and uh, hit the subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. If I have to choose one of them, that will be